Hi student. Today uh, I am making this video specially for class 11 student. Specially video banaya class 11 student ke liye. What I think that they definitely got less time this year for preparation. Firstly it was uh, means because of corona classes started late and then uh, for few there was some problem of network, online coaching and now the examination have already started. So welcome back. My name is Sunil Gambhir. Uh, I have been teaching physics since 25 years. So I decided to give some shortcut. See, the target for every student is 95%. So target for target of each and every student is 95%. And your target is also the same. Now, how to achieve it? Let us go for some shortcut this, this time. I am sharing some most important derivations with you. And I expect that the question paper will come from those derivations only. More and less will come from those derivations. Whether you are ICSE student or you are CBSE student or you are Punjab board or any other state board, the paper is bound to come from these derivations. I am talking about my experience that there derivations the paper is the derivation of the paper. From those derivations you will get conceptual questions, from those derivations you will get some numerical problems. So today I am going to share 18 derivations with you. And uh, uh, from 18, 17, 16 we will reach to the number 1. So let us see which is uh, the 18 derivation. The 18 derivation is satellite. In question paper, the paper setter may ask you what is the principle of satellite? What is the orbital speed? What is time period? What is energy, binding energy, etc. So prepare well, go through this derivation in a good manner. And 17 is what? Like the first question I selected from rota uh, from gravitation, 17 question I selected from rotation. Rotation is also important chapter. You will get some numerical from center of mass, moment of inertia, definitely. But uh, as far as the derivation is concerned, I think the derivation of torque, kinetic energy, angular momentum link with the moment of inertia. Like kinetic energy is equal to half I omega square. Teacher can ask you that prove Ke is equal to half I omega square. Like that. So you should go in a good manner, revise in a proper manner. And then the derivation number 16 is parallelogram law of vectors. From the vector chapter, there are two derivations. One is triangle law, other is the parallelogram law of vector. Uh, this is, uh, I will, I, I can say that it is the backbone of your book, backbone of plus, uh, backbone of physics class 11, that how to find the resultate of two vectors, r is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos, cos theta, and the same how to find the angle also of resultant with some vector. So that derivation should come or some numerical link with that. Go through in a good manner. And then there's a 15, there's a tricky derivation. You should practice it twice thrice. V is equal to R omega. The relation of linear velocity with angular velocity. It's a tricky derivation. You should go through at least twice. So, this is circular motion. Then the derivation number 14. It's from the last chapter, oscillation and wave. Characteristics of simple harmonic motion. Remember, simple harmonic motion is a, it is very important. Something will definitely come. This is sure. And I expect that derivation can come. Uh, characteristic of SHR means displacement, velocity, acceleration, time period, etc. 
then uh, 13 number is we are moving from the back now 18 15, 17 16 15 14 and now the 13 13 is what from the thermodynamics work done in adiabatic process and in isothermal process then 12th 12th is uh, from the properties of matter there is a curve stress strain curve teacher should ask I am saying should that uh, draw the stress strain curve uh, plotting the point different points and explaining it also then 11th is what terminal velocity how to find terminal velocity define terminal velocity and drive for terminal velocity you must know what is stokes law then how the viscosity play roles etc etc so terminal velocity should come so these are the 18 10 till 11 now the last 10 most important derivation very very important derivation okay you can uh, give your comments which will be the number one can you can you think number one pe kaun si derivation hoegi kya tum soch sakte ho time Chaliye, let us go ahead 11th is what it's a uh, in the capillary tube rise of liquid in the capillary tube h is equal to 2s cos theta upon r d g h is equal to 2s cos theta r d g so how this height is linked with the angle of contact how it is linked with the surface tension etc etc so that type of derivation comes it's a rise of liquid as well as fall of liquid we know that if the angle of contact is acute then the liquid rise like in the case of water if angle of contact is obtuse then the liquid fall uh, like in the case of mercury and there are two forces one is force of adhesion other is force of cohesion because of that it all happens then it is a so we uh, this uh, 10th number we discuss with the rise of liquid in, in capillary tube it is from the fluid then it is the what again from the oscillation and wave standing waves standing wave in string in open pipe from the both end and in close pipe from the both end one derivation will come standing wave is very important very very important you will get this derivation in your exams. Then um, eighth, eighth is what banking of road and bending of cyclist from the laws of motion. So far we have not covered any derivation from the laws of motion. So it's uh, I selected banking of road and uh, bending of cyclist. It should come. Especially means uh, if I make a paper, if I select the question I will select bending of cyclist it's comparatively easy then uh, seventh is what it's again sure sure derivation from the work power energy elastic collision in 1d with special cases it's again a challenging derivation you should practice twice What I think that this single video of around 15 minutes will increase your percentage at least by 15%. If you supposed to get 80% with this, you will get 95. But don't miss a single derivation. After that, the sixth number is what? Effect of height and depth on small g on acceleration due to gravitation acceleration due to gravity so I selected this derivation from the gravitation in this uh, derivation uh, you must know what is the graph of uh, small g with height and depth so you do that portion also so one uh, means either from the height or from the depth one definition one derivation is sure then I will say that now you can uh, we have already covered so many derivations. you can 
you should rather you can you should comment that which will be the number one and don't forget to share this video with your friends then uh, this uh, number five now we are going towards the top five derivations top five derivations fifth derivation i selected derivation of kinematics unit number two v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square equal to 2as sn is equal to u plus a by 2 2n minus 1 remember these derivation you have to cover with the help of graph in the latest syllabus it's a with the help of graph so one derivation from these also is sure and number four is again the derivation from gravitation escape speed whether you throw a elephant or you throw a cockroach escape speed is same it depend on the it does not depend on the mass of the body rather it depend on the mass of planet then th number 3 is now we are going towards the top 3 number 3 is projectile it either you go for oblique projectile or you go for the horizontal projectile you have to cover equation of projectile range of projectile time period of projectile uh, for an oblique projectile the range will be same when the angles are complementary so cover all the small small derivation um, sure derivation and now the number two can you guess the number one guess Number two is Carnot engine from the thermodynamics. It's a very important and challenging derivation. I'm I consider it as number two. Agar abhi tak nahi kiya, usko abhi karo. Very very important Carnot engine, and you must know that how to draw the graph. Of Carnot engine and what are the limitation of Carnot engine it's the most efficient engine and now the number one yes you can comment right now number one is one and only one sure derivation will definitely come it's a Bernoulli's theorem from the fluid in motion Bernoulli's theorem that it is based on the law of conservation of energy. So these are the 18 derivation. You must cover all the 18 derivation in a good manner. When you go to examination, you will find this derivation in section D or section E. So you cover, you can go in the examination, you can first do these derivations so that you get some uh, good marks. And moreover, one more thing I want to uh, what do you think that uh, any other derivation should I should include in this uh, video? Please comment it. And I wish you all the best. May you get 95 plus. My blessing, my good wishes are always with you. And don't forget to get blessing of your parents and your guru. Bye-bye. Till... See you in the next video. Bye.